Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is set absolute. We're going to run through a quick little example here, and I'm going to show you what set absolute does. But let me give you a refresher on absolute and relative size, position, and scale. We have our transform boxes here, and I have three items. And if I go to my root, for example, and I change the scale to two for everything, everything's going to be at roughly two times the size. We have a scale of two. Now every child has their own scale, and this scale is relative by default to the parent. So for example, I tell the cube to become a scale of two now, it's going to have a scale of two relative to the parent, which is a scale of two. So that's why our cube is now four. Now we have a few nodes that allow us to set the scale directly, either relative to the parent, which we saw there, or the world version, which means we set it exact. So for example, if I ran the set world scale 3D, go and run this again. We'll look in our middle cube. We'll go to our transform boxes. We'll set those back to two. But this time I'm gonna use this to set the scale of just the cube. I'll change to two. And you'll notice it's, well, it didn't really change. It's still two. But if we look at the cube, it's only got a scale of one. Well, that's because that node basically went, hey, I want this item to be this scale. Now, what's our parent scale? Oh, our parent is at two. And now we want this to be at two. So let's do a little bit of math and let's change it to one. Because we want to make sure in the world, the scale of this item is two. Now, we have a node called set absolute, which is what we're looking at here. What this does, if we have it hooked up, is it changes the coordinate system for the item into the absolute coordinate system rather than the relative system. And it allows you to use one node, this one right here, to set it basically absolutely. Uh, technically, both of these nodes do work on it, but this one is redundant. If we have absolute turned on, we're saying, hey, I want it this size, and we use the world version of it, we're saying, hey, we want it this size, it's the same result. Let me go ahead and show you this. So I'm gonna filter through a set absolute node, and I'm gonna set the relative scale. So before filtering normally, this is the result we get, and it should be exactly what we had before. Change our items to two, change this to two, and now again, it's relative. We look at our cube, yeah, scale of two, parent of two, we now get a four. We're gonna check the absolute scale because we're only working with scale in this example. We're gonna run this again. We'll go ahead and set this to two. And then this time, let's click on our cube first and then watch this line. Right now it says scale. When I change my first value, it's gonna to change to absolute scale. And you're gonna notice this changes. We'll change the rest of these to two. You'll notice it says two down here, absolute scale. However, our item is not four times. Our parent is still two, and our cube still says two. So that should give us a four. But since we are in absolute scale mode and not relative scale mode now, this basically means, hey, my default values in here, this, not default values, but the values in here for my transform, they're going to be in absolute mode. We're not going to use relative mode. We are always going to be this scale, this rotation, or this location, regardless of what our parents are, because I'm in absolute scale mode now. If I change it back to relative, you'll notice it changes. That's our default behavior. Absolute version, which is this world setting here, is an absolute version. And that's literally what it is. It allows you to basically switch your default transformation settings from relative and turn them into absolute. Basically, you can change your default to be world rather than relative. And that's it, it's pretty simple. If you want to basically be able to hard code values easier and not have to worry about relative issues, or you just want to force something to always be a certain size, rotation, or location, go ahead and trigger off the set absolute before you do any changes. As you saw, that physically changes this over to the world or absolute scale and then any code you run on it for setting setting any of the scales rotations location 
are going to give you back the world version. Keep in mind when it's in the absolute version, any of your getters are now going to give you back the same thing as well. Basically your relative scale nodes, in this case because I'm using scale, are going to now start returning absolute versions if you have absolute checked. So you need to keep that in mind. That's it. That's pretty much going to wrap up our set absolute node. It's useful if you basically want to not have to worry about maybe changing the setter nodes or getter nodes for one particular thing and you want something to literally, like it says, be absolutely a location, a rotation, or a scale. And it targets a scene component. So you can pretty much be any item inside of a blueprint or it could even be the root entire blueprint if you just simply target the root component.